Hey rock stars, Crystal Baller here. I'm giving you an updated version of Dreams by Fleetwood Mac on guitar. So there's two chords here. There's an F and a G. Um, so the F chord, it, we're gonna use like an A minor shape. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, that's okay. Um, so you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna put it on the third fret of the A string. That's the fifth string from the bottom. Okay, and now you're gonna put your ring finger on the um, same fret, the third fret, so that's three squares down, one, two, three, and you're gonna put that on the fourth string from the bottom, and you can strum those two together. All right, you wanna play this with your middle finger and your ring finger. All right. Now that can just be the F or we can go ahead and add on and put our pointer finger on the second fret of the third string, okay? So that looks like this. And you wanna try to keep your um, ring finger and your pointer finger as close to the fret, which is that metal bar as you can without actually being on it or it'll sound buzzy, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're only gonna strum the strings that you're, you're holding down. I'm doing a rhythmic thing strumming, but honestly, you can just do single strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if you have the reach and the comfortability to like bring your thumb around and not push the string down, but just kind of make it touch it, then if you accidentally hit the E string, it won't matter because you'll have muted it with your thumb up here. If you can't do that, that's okay too. Um, all right, so you can either do the F chord this way with two, or you can add that pointer finger on the second fret of the third string and do it that way. Now your next chord is a G chord. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna scoot it up a string. So move your finger toward the ceiling, third fret on the E string. And then you're gonna bring your pointer finger and you're gonna go to the A string, which is our fifth string from the bottom there. And it looks like this. So my top two strings, our third fret on E and second fret on A. Okay, and we're gonna concentrate our strums toward like the top half of the guitar. If you get the, li the little E string in there, sometimes it's okay, it won't sound terrible, but just try to concentrate your strumming more toward the top, okay? All right, so we have our, a our F and our G, and those are our chords. So let's practice going back and forth between them. We're gonna go super slow and then speed it up. One, two, play your F and strum. Switch to G here and strum. Now you switch to F and strum. Two, three, four, and switch. Two, ready, go, and switch. Two, ready, switch, and do. Now your hands could be moving while you're waiting, like I'm waiting, but don't follow my lead. You should look like to switch your hand and 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 back and forth. So you're catching what I'm throwing right now. That's how you practice your chord changes. Also, if you can't remember what the chord is, don't forget to just like find it and then let it go and try to find it again. Eventually your hands will remember and you won't have to think about it as much, but it's gonna take you finding it and letting it go and practicing this, uh, touching your guitar at least, you know, um, I recommend once a day for 15 minutes at the least, um, but sometimes that once a day can just be enough to pick it up and remember what the chord is and put it back down again if you're busy. Okay, so that's your part. Um, if you want to play more rhythmically, you can play along with the bass line, which is F, 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 little strums. Also, if you listen to the song, there's like this little breakdown part where they change keys. Don't worry about that. Um, we're not doing that part in class. All right. See you soon. Hopefully.
Bye. Have fun practicing.